What's up guys? My name is Mad Squash 924 Welcome back to another episode of Yakuza Kiwami 2. This is now part 21 of our Let's Play thus far, and we are doing more sub-stories than we've been doing for the last few days. Um, well, last few episodes. I wouldn't say days, but for me it's been days. For you guys, it could be, well, mere minutes. Welcome. Welcome. What will you be ordering? I guess everything? Well, some things. But there's a substory in here, so. Ah. Umaina. The Kyushu Tonkatsu Roman. The stewed pork Tonkatsu Roman. Results. Success. Sa ikuka. Arigato gozaimashita. Thank you very much. You know, that was some appetite you got there. You mind if I ask your name? Let's cure you. Well, thanks for stopping in, Kiryu-san. I put my heart and soul into every bowl of ramen I make. So come back to try all, all when uh. you can. Now that's something to look forward to. Be a regular. Well, I imagine once we get enough, like, all the different ramen flavors, something else will happen. But we kind of have to get hurt for that. Oh boy. Oh, it's a silver plate. I was like, what is that? Tema Torosevat. Let's go. There is a substory south of here. What's your problem, asshat? You bump into me and you get your greasy fingers all over my nice shirt? Sir, you're the one who bumped into me and your shirt already looks like it needs a wash. Ah. You're telling me I'm wrong, asswipe? If he won't say you're wrong, I will. What's that, tough guy? You want a piece of this too? Apparently so. My thugs mean thugs. Damn, boy, you ragged off. You hate to see it. Eh. Bitch. Eh. Get in the street. Ah, you're lucky. He actually saved you. Hi, <laughs> oh, one more, huh? Oopsie. Miro, that's great. I'm sorry, man. I'll pay for my own dry cleaning. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you so much, sir. You saved my life. I don't know why, but that guy really had it out for me. Well, I don't think he'll be back to bother you again. So true, sir. I'll pay you back for this someday, just you wait. He's now our ally. Great. Quick, simple, easy, easy, easy mission. We're slightly hurt. We could get more ramen if we wanted. And the next sub-story is, well, it's further south. And, well, not south, but, uh, west. So, we might as well grab a quick bite while we're here. Grab something new, grab something different. <laughs> grab this, grab you. Yeah, we get everything except the fried rice. Kinita. The chashu con kotsu ramen. The chashu rice bowl. The gyosa. The joshu konosuha. Result. Success. Sa ikuka. Arigato gozaimashita. 
Okay. So I imagine we should just try everything, and then once we tried everything, then, like, we're good, right? I mean, that's what makes sense to me, but we'll see if that's true or not. There's the cab that we are not going to yet. Hello there. Hmm. Excuse me, aren't you Kazuma Kiryu-san? Uh. uh, yeah, that's me. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. I'm Sunagana. Sunagana? Tsunaga. There we go. The headmistress of Sunflower Orphanage. My name sucks, I know. Wait, Sunflower? Some built that orphanage. Nishiki, me, Yumi, and later Haruka. We all grew up there. Is this about Haruka? Is having you there, well, having her there causing you any trouble? Trouble? Oh, no, quite the opposite. If anything, the orphanage is never so bright as when she's around. Well, that's a relief. But if you don't mind my asking, what happened to the old caretaker? Oh, he was having a spot of health trouble, so he made the difficult decision to move back to his family in the country. I've taken over his absence. Oh, I see. But what brings you out to the city? This isn't the safest part of town. Oh, well, I'm ashamed to admit to you of all people, but money has been getting tight lately. After Kazuma-san passed, things have been getting difficult, to say the least. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Kashiwagi san stepped in as our benefactor, but despite his best efforts, he's just too busy to spare us as much attention. I know there's a lot to ask of you, sir, but if you have any love for the orphanage still, do you think you could assist us with an occasional donation? Ah. Huh. I mean, I owe everything to Sunflower. And Kazuma san. I can't promise I'll be much help, but I'll certainly contribute to what I can. You will? Oh, thank you so much. I make regular trips to Kamurosha to pick things up, so you can talk to me anytime if you'd like to make a donation. Or, if it's more convenient, you can use any ATM in a convenience store around town to wire us. Oh, that sounds easy enough. Just out of curiosity, how much are you thinking you'll need? Well, no amount will be too large, but I think somewhere in the ballpark of 50,000 yen will keep us afloat as far as the basic living expenses go. Right. Alright. Thank you again, curious on. Well, we definitely have enough. Jeez, soon Tsunaga needs 50,000 to keep the orphanage up and running. I should donate when I can. Which is right now. Hey there. Tsunaga-san, I have some money for you. Oh, curious son, that's great news. I know it's been five seconds, but this is simply wonderful. You're too kind, curious son. I can't state enough how much of a help you are to these children. Thank you. How much money do I gotta give out? Hmm. Tsunaga-san? Is something wrong? Oh, Kiryu-san. You see, after the five seconds you gave me the money, the orphanage recently took in this boy about Haruka's age. His name is Hayato-kun. And he's a troubled child. And he's not made a single friend yet. I know it's been five seconds, but still, I'm worried about him. I mean, it can be tough to acclimate to an orphanage situation. The other kids are treating him well, right? They're doing their best, but five seconds is only so much you can do. But he keeps making it a point to keep his distance. They can only do so much in five seconds, you see. You were an orphan once, Kiryu-san. Do you have any suggestions? Have a talk with him, find something he's interested in, wait and see what happens. Yeah, let's start with that. Maybe you could figure out something he's interested in. Mm, yes, I suppose that might make him open up a bit. I wonder what that would be. Did you get any details when you took him in? Where he's from, what his hobbies are, anything? Mm. Well, apparently he did used to take care of this class pet at his old school. It's possible he has a soft spot for animals. Well, sounds like that's your answer. 
But we don't have any pets of sunflower. Well, that won't do. Where can I possibly get a pet? Okay. Um... Where can we get a pet? I guess we'll come across one later. Hi, Uncle Kaz. The headmistress told me about your idea for helping Hayato-kun. Do you remember the puppy we saved last year? I was thinking maybe we could find him and bring him the sunflower. What do you think? Huh. That's not a bad idea, actually. wonder what became of that little guy. Well, I bet the guys from Purgatory could track down a dog. I'll give Mogusa a call. Hello? Hey, Magusa. Uh, this is Kiryu. Uh, Kiryu-san. Not a man I expect to get a call from. Uh, what's going on? Actually, Haruka and I let a dog loose in the city last year before we left. Um, you didn't happen to keep track of it, did you? Keep track of it? Look, man, I, I kept this little guy. I couldn't let him just stay on the street. Really? Well... Would you be willing to part with him for some kids? I mean, they need a pet at Sunflower Orphanage. Oh. Ain't that the orphanage Haruka grew up at? Uh, yeah, that's the one. Uh, would you be willing? Or did you get too attached? Well, for you, Kiryu-san. For the kids. And for this little guy's happiness. I'll do it. Uh, meet me at the theater. Alright. Thanks, Magusa. I'll see you there. And there's our answer. To the theater. Get me to a Mogusa. Which is up here? Yep. Bum, 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 bum. Gotta go run around town. I gotta tell you, look at the freaking town. It looks astonishing still. Pretty crazy. Just taking it all in, you know? Uh-oh. Oh, Kiryu-san. You're looking good, man. It's been a while. How have you been? Not bad. Me and... Pochitaro... have become pretty good friends after last year. Pochitaro? Isn't that the name Haruka gave him? Hmm. <laughs> You've gotten bigger. I think Poshitaru is gonna love those kids just as much as they love him, Kiryu-san. It's about time he got off the streets. Well, thanks for this, Magusa. We return to Tsunaga-san. Na, 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 na. Run around town. What we're doing? Run around town. Getting assaulted in this town of the many lights. Whoa. Oh, you guys chasing me down still? That's so cute. You never chase me down. Especially when I'm running backwards, full board. Quite impossible, actually. Hey, what's up? You guys gonna fight me too? No? Cool. Here you, son. Oh, who's this little guy? His name is Hoshitaru. Haruka looked after him for a little while last year after we saved him from some hunks. She really did that. How kind of her. Will you be able to accommodate him at Sunflower? I mean, having a dog there would lift everyone's spirits, including Hayatakun's. Of course I would. Are you sure it's alright, though? Absolutely. The orphanage is the best place for him, after all. Oh, thank you so much, Kiryu-san. This is going to make the kids so happy. You be good over there, Pochitaru. Hi, Uncle Kaz. Thanks for finding Pochi. 
Hatakun loves dogs. He already took Pochi for a walk. Huh? Pochi Taru has really brought some life back to Sunflower. More importantly, he's helped Hayatokun start getting to know the other children. Sounds like Pochi Taru's living the high life over there. This really is the best case scenario. Thank you so much, Kiryu san. Don't thank me. Thank Pochi Taru. Hi. Of course. And if you're ever feeling generous, we're still accepting donations, of course. <clears throat> Mission done. Let's see, where to go next? We're starting to dwindle down in the sub-stories, finally. It took a little bit, but we're started, we're started to finally get there. I'm liking that. Oh, you guys want to fight, huh? All right, let's go. You dirty little delinquent. Okay. Oh, is this for me? Bitch. Are we hurt? Slightly. We are slightly hurt. Can we grab anything now? Yes, we can. Excellent. Um, yeah, let's try to get the uh, last meal going. Hello. Another locker key for me. Ah, uh, wonderful. Uh-oh. Please let me in! You can't stop me from having a meal, bitch. We want some fried rice, that's why we're here. Thank you. Hey, Kiryu-san. Thanks for all the business. How much of the menu have you tried at this point? Nothing warms my heart more than a repeat customer. I mean, I could eat the ramen you make every day. It's really that good. <laughs> Man. I wish all my customers were as friendly as you. You know what? From now on, if you ever need my ramen in, my, in a pinch, I'm gonna have a nice hot bowl waiting for you. Oh. Thanks, dog. I wonder if we go back to the, um, Popo's? Popo's uh, convenience store? If we grab, like, one of everything. Do you think that would actually make his sub-store get done? I'm guessing so. That would kind of make sense, because that's just what we did with, um, the ramen noodle shop, and it was fine. We could try that. Sure. That sounds like a good idea. What's the worst that happens? We still gotta shop there more? Alright, here we are. That's everything. Really nothing, huh? What's a take for you, man?
ありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませ Come on, please. ありがとうございましたああ How many times does a man need to shop here to become a regular? There it is. Ah, it's you. Welcome, sir. We got him right where we want him. Let's buy some pocket tissues. Thank you for frequenting our store, sir. Has it been that often? <laughs> I wasn't really keeping count. That's correct, sir. Now remember how I said we have an excess of Odin? If you ever need one out there, just please ask. Come again, sir. Finally, that mission's done. We finally were regular enough. How many is left? One, two, three, three sub-stories. Give or take. Let us... Since we're near Theater Square, let's do one of those um, fighting missions. Okay, guys. Goodbye. What a shame. All right, um, right there, in the Bora, I think it's called. Is it called the Bora? I don't think so. Dabola, Dabola. Yes, I was almost right. The Bora. What am I thinking? This is Dragon Ball. <laughs> Okay, towering giants hard. Actually, let's try the scattered weapons normal instead. The anonymous information dealer and armed gang is starting a turf war by the Millennium Tower. Apparently, they hit a bunch of weapons over at Nakimichi Street, use their weapons against them, and stop the war. We have no time conditions and just kill everybody. Sounds simple enough. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, boy. I think I got fucked. <laughs> What the hell was in that box that made it explode? Punch him! Here we go. Oh, there's one more person, that's why. There we go. I was like, why isn't it working? Baseball bat. Damn. What a horde of dudes. 
Time to kill some more. Alright, any other weapons laying about? I use those crates, but I don't really want to. That'll work. A decorative spear. We're gonna spear somebody. Man, that's a lot of guys. Any other weapons laying about? No? Alright. That's how we go. Big guy's down. Oh, 
Where's the... there you are. Goodbye. A little bit rough, but we got it done. Nice job. Here's your reward. The quests are coming in hot and heavy right now. I know it won't be easy, but try and keep the city safe, okay? New job for you, hot up the presses. Just let me know when you're interested. Which is what exactly? Ah, there is definitely more though. Sheesh, that was hard. I can't imagine what the hard one was going to be like. It must hit my trucks. All right, so let's all go over to a restaurant, eat something, and then we'll call it an episode. Let's go eat over in Smile Burger. I don't think we've eaten at that Smile Burger before. If we have, I don't recall. Nope. Ah, dinner time. A smile Why burger. Not? A teriyaki smile burger. The king smile burger. A tuna burger. Smile fries. Smile shake. Smile salad. The smile king. The healthy smile. A calorie combo. Results, success. No, thank you. Let's see about upgrading some of these skills, and then let's see what happens. We can get some heat actions. Heat actions would actually be nice. Essence of noodles, apparently. That's funny. Plunger. And statistics. And I think that's a good spot for us to end today's episode of Yakuza Kiwami 2. I hope you guys all enjoyed today's episode. If you guys have, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think of today's episode. If you're new to my channel or been watching me for a little while and haven't done so as of yet, feel free to subscribe to me, Mad Squash 924 and don't forget to ring the bell to get notified of my latest videos. On the next episode, we got, it looks like, one, two three sub stories left to do hopefully we can get them all done of course there's this one too however we can't actually get in there yet so that's one to come for later apparently um ideally we get all three of these done and then um see what happens from there i guess we progress in the main story again i think we have to meet up with kashiwagi san i don't remember yeah back to the toho headquarters so probably uh yeah lady dojima in kashiwagi okay so yeah i'll see you then Goodbye.